corner to throw. Going deep downfield, adjusting for it is Isaac Bruce. And Isaac Bruce threads his way for a touchdown. From a forgotten about quarterback bagging groceries in Iowa to making plays like that and winning the Super Bowl for the St. Louis Rams, Kurt Warner's story always felt like a movie script. Today, his life does hit the big screen in his own biopic, American Underdog, which is out in theaters across the country right now. The movie stars Zachary Levi as Kurt, Anna Paquin as Brenda Warner, and Dennis Quaid as Coach Dick Vermeil. However, it's the tough love and sometimes just plain tough relationship between Kurt and then Rams offensive coordinator Mike Martz that's one of the key football storylines of the film. And Kurt says that relationship helped shape what his story would become. Was it fun? I remember a number of conversations calling from training camp going, Brenda, I don't think I'm any good. Like, I, I don't think I'm going to make this team because all I could hear in practice was, you're, you're awful, you got to do this better, you got to do that better. Um, but it was, I think it was a really great part of the movie and, and my development and my growth both as a person and as a player through that relationship. Speaking of the Rams, St. Louis County confirmed to Five on Your Side yesterday that the $790 million payout agreed to as a result of the relocation lawsuit settlement has been received. Not a bad Christmas gift. That $790 million and our memories may be all we have left of the Rams in St. Louis, but could the Battle Hawks of the XX XFL still fly again? We may actually find out very soon. Dwayne The Rock Johnson, he's a new part owner of the XFL and dropped a few teases in an appearance on CNBC the other day. It's anticipated after the success of the league in St. Louis that the Battle Hawks would be tapped for a revival, but expect the XFL to look at least a little different when it's set to return in 2023. We should maybe within the next month or maybe two months, we're going to be announcing our broadcast partners, which we're very excited about, and, and uh, new, new teams, new cities, and very excited about that. Let's check out some Christmas Day hoops and the local kid, Jason Tatum, taking on Giannis Antetokounmpo and the Bucks. Shamanad Grad, he had 25, including that slick three right there. But he did collide with teammate Jalen Brown, and he chipped Brown's tooth. So I guess the song is right. Jalen might need his two front teeth for Christmas. The Celtics led by 19 points at one point in this game, but the defending champs, the Bucks, they roared back. Milwaukee beats Boston 117 to 113. And how about a St. Louis sports Christmas throwback today? This photo shows legendary baseball icons Yogi Berra and Joe Garagiola selling Christmas trees in their native neighborhood of the hill back in the day for charity. Of course, Yogi, he's one of the greatest catchers of all time. And Joe, a fine player in his own right who went into the Baseball Hall of Fame as a broadcaster. Michelle, we've had an artificial tree my whole <laughs> life. But if I knew two Hall of Famers were selling real ones, I would be first in line. I know. That's pretty cool. I love that throwback. Thanks so much, Corey. Okay.